Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So quick update here on the market. So Bitcoin's currently at $86,000 right now, down from around $90,000 just a couple of days ago. And understandably, people are getting you know, more bearish now, if you've been following the channel over the last couple of months, or, or if you knew, you know that we've been highlighting the fact that Bitcoin has experienced major long term holder distribution. That's been a persistent selling pressure over the last uh, you know, couple of months weighing on the market. So to sort of back up that view, I want to show you a brand new chart I just launched, launched on chartinspect.com. It's called the composite momentum chart. And so this thing basically gives us a completely different view of what's happening on chain right now so let's dive into into the chart so basically what this chart is, is doing is combining nine different on-chain metrics and in, it's combining them into a single momentum indicator so the key word here is momentum right so if you're familiar with the on-chain risk chart which also looks at a couple of composite metrics it basically looks at where metrics are historically in terms of percentiles. So this one is, is a bit different. The risk chart asks, you know, where where are we historically? Are we, you know, either expensive or cheap relative to history? But the, the momentum chart asks, you know, which direction are we currently moving in? Is it negative or, or positive momentum, right? Are things getting better or are they starting to get, uh, you know, worse? So it's measuring the change and the trend of these metrics not just the the absolute values right so the nine indicators that it, it tracks are the short-term holder mvrv which is basically just short-term holder profitability uh, mvrv which is overall market profitability uh, net unrealized profit and loss the supply and profit and loss so the percentage of, of bitcoin that's that's in either in in loss or in profit right uh, the market cap to thermal cap ratio uh, the short-term holder SOPAR, which is basically just short-term holder realized profits that are being moved on chain uh, a SOPAR, which is just a cleaner version of SOPAR, uh, long-term holder profit to vault uh, profit to, to loss ratio and finally the pure multiple which looks at uh, minor revenue relative to to its historical average so you've got unrealized profit you've got actual spending behavior on chain and you've also got minor economics all in this one view here so and these are all just ways we can view bitcoin's valuation from an from an on-chain perspective to, to put it simply right so here's how how this indicator works just to, to to get on with it for each of these nine indicators right it takes the the current value of the metric and compares it to a one year uh simple moving average or 365 day simple moving average so for example if you look at the mvrv momentum right now mvrv is currently at 1.5 and it's 365 day moving averages at 2.12 so that means mvrv uh mvrv's momentum is is negative it's below its one year moving average that is typically a bearish signal as we've seen in the past in 2017 and 2021 uh you know if if you were above this moving average obviously that would be that would mean it would be in positive momentum territory that would be bullish historically it is bullish right so this chart does that same exact thing but for all nine indicators right and then it counts how many are showing positive uh, momentum versus negative momentum right so that's what you can see at the bottom of the chart here so if seven out of nine indicators for example have positive momentum you get a score of about 80 percent uh, positive that's generally bullish and results in basically major uptrends for bitcoin you can see in blue here on the other hand if only two of the nine metrics are positive then you're about 20%. Uh, that's generally bearish and results in red to orange uh, areas for Bitcoin. That results in negative momentum. So like I said, you can visually see these from these colors. You can also switch it from the gradient to a, a binary representation. So either positive or, or, or negative. But this can give us a little bit of a more nuanced uh, look at it if we look at it through a percentage, percentage basis, right? So right now we're still sitting in that red zone. We first crossed into the negative territory at $111,000 for Bitcoin. And so let me show you the, the different visual elements here because there's a lot going on, right? So like I said, at the bottom here, these are uh, individual rows. So these are each nine of the metrics showing here. When, when, a low, when, a, when a row lights up, that means it has positive momentum. When it's transparent, it doesn't show a color. That means it's, it's bearish, right? So at a glance, you can basically see which ones are driving the the overall score right so these triangles here are the regime markers so either negative or positive right 
you know, the red triangle means it's pointing, starting to point down. The green ones means it's starting to point up, right? So currently we are at still in a negative territory. And you, you can compare this back to, you know, when we we're, when we we're in October, right? We we're still firmly in a, a negative territory, even though the price hit a new all-time high. And that's an example of, you know, bearish divergence, right? So we, we did see a bearish divergence on this, on this metric. So you can also see we were sort of in the neutral zone, not, not necessarily hitting that positive momentum territory yet, like we were when we first hit it at, at around um, 70 or $103,000 for the first time uh, about when we switched it over here. So in 2021, if we look at some historical examples, you can see it, it switched negative at around $43,000. Uh, you can also see it also had a, a bearish divergence here where the price had a new all-time high, but the overall weighted momentum score didn't go as high. So if you look at the momentum score here, you can see which out of the overall indicators are showing uh, the most momentum here. So this is the overall score we barely hit, you know, when Bitcoin was at $69,000, a new all-time high, we were barely at the momentum levels that we were in 2021, for example. So, and that was basically a loss of steam on, on the on-chain risk, on the on-chain metrics, right? So, and then during, you know, the 2022 bear market, around 15 to $17,000, momentum was in the deep red for, for quite some time. It first switched negative at around fifty six, fifty seven thousand dollars $57,000 and then switch positive at around $23,000. That was basically, you know, your, your signal that the worst was already over, right? This entire one year bear market had been an entire negative momentum phase for, for quite some period of time. And we are currently still in a negative momentum phase. And I, I, I think, you know, we will continue to see uh, this indicator point down for, for quite some period of time. So, so this kind of ties into what we've been discussing about long-term holder distribution when long-term holders are distributing heavily, uh, you know, metrics like MVRV, Nupal, supply and profit tend to lose momentum because you're moving coins from strong hands to weak hands. You know, the newer buyers have a much higher cost basis. So even if the price stays flat, these metrics will probably start declining like, like they have been, right? And that's exactly what, what we've been seeing play out in real time. So overall, the momentum picture is pretty bearish right now. This doesn't mean, you know, Bitcoin can't bounce. We could easily see a relief rally back to $90,000 in the short term, right? Even maybe even $100,000 in the short term. But until we see momentum cross uh, back and flip bullish, in my opinion, the path of least uh, resistance is still down. And I personally think uh, that will continue to be down uh, going into 2026 and perhaps mid-2026. So that's the composite momentum uh, indicator. There's also a couple of other on-chain metrics that I just released for pro users, so you can check that out if you'd like. So on this chart, you can actually customize the weights for each indicator, so you can turn certain ones off that you, you might not think are, are useful and get a different picture of the overall market. You can also change the momentum to get quicker uh, signals. You can also increase the smoothing on it to get uh, you know, better signals, more lag signals, perhaps. But um, but yeah, both of those are, are useful to look at. Uh, you know, right now, momentum is still showing a, a downtrend here. So I think most metrics are are below the yearly average. And, and that kind of corresponds with this metric here. So you can track this live at chartinspec.com. Uh, pro members can also set alerts on this metric and also a lot of other metrics. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.